Uh, Mid-shift here, another easy day in Boone, uh, not too much going on. Uh, we're gonna get lunch soon. That'll take an hour. Gonna go to Donald's. No, we're not going to Donald's, we're going to McLeary's. We've, we've, no, I don't like McLeary's. I don't like Irishmen touching my fucking food. I don't care what you say, Brandy. McLeary's is the best sub shop in town. I don't care if they're Irishmen. I don't care. They don't make any food. It's a pub. What's the best sub shop in town? I'm telling you, they got a steak and cheese. It's phenomenal. You've obviously never been to that train station, Subway. I don't eat at train stations. That doesn't make any sense. Why would food be in a train station? Subway. Why would it be in a, you know? Donald's. Let's go there. This place sucks. Who's calling you? Oh, shit. It's Saj McGrimes. No. Go ahead. Pick up? It's never good. When Saj calls us, it's never good. I don't like to hear the news. All right, I'll just ignore that one. Yeah, he'll call again if it's important. He'll probably call me. I'll have my phone out. Why is he calling me when we have walkie talkies? Is what I want to know. I know. Calling in, Saj, you know? We don't make the rules, though. He does. So? Doesn't mean we gotta answer the phone, though. Well, looks like it was important because he left a voicemail. No shit. Yeah, so, uh, we'll see what he has oh, for us today. Oh, oh, oh. Get, hey, Brandon, dude, how many times do I have to tell you to pick up your phone when I call? Yes, I have got a message yeah. for you in Slate's heart. You? That's me. It's actually some good news. Carl's oh. is way down. Yes, Boom. we're doing good. But as everyone knows, that means layoffs. And what? layoffs mean a great chance that you two get shit canned by the end of the year. <laughs> good luck, guys. Why is he laughing? He sounds mad, dude. He's not mad, he was laughing. That's not even a choking matter. Saj sounds mad. I think uh, we should call him back. I think we should call him back. No, 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 no. I'm thinking we should call him back. Whatever you want. Hey, Linda, is Saj at the office? She doesn't really like you. I'll, I'll try. Hey, uh, Linda, Saj, is she in the office? Brandon just asked the same thing, but I thought I should do, you know. It's called uh, radio silence. Come on. Linda, this is uh, Brandine with Slater. Is Saj in the office? Try. Uh, Linda, darling, Slater here. I don't know if you heard that the first time. Uh, look over at Saj. You know what I'm Usually Linda spawns like that with me. I don't know about Brandine. I, I'm on good terms with her, I thought. I don't, I don't think you are. No? Uh, Maybe. I don't I, know. I don't get a good vibe from you. Yeah, Brandine, please, just for the sake of all things that are somewhat uh, holy, God. please call the Saj. He did call six times. Holy shit. Six times he called us. He must be freaking pissed. All right, all right, all right. I'll call him, but if he answers him, I'm handing the phone off right to you. I've, I said that's fine. I can uh, take him. I'm real good at getting yelled at. It's one of my top things I'm good at. Well, you've reached Sergeant McGrimes. I can't come to the phone right now. So, anyone with Grand Duke or Slater, leave me a message and I'll definitely get back to you. Well, that's that. We're not leaving a voicemail. So. Can't. He said himself. Explicit directions. He always says, you two follow directions, please. He keeps calling us Mongoloids, too, but the funny part is, I'm not Mongolian. I know. Neither am I. I'm Irish and American, you know? I'm just American. You know, there's a misconnotation in Boone that there's no crime. There's actually plenty of crime. Oh, we just don't catch any of it, really. You know, in order to keep our jobs, we're gonna have to be stopping some crime. Kinda makes sense, though. We're cops. It does make sense. Now they just mentioned the cop yeah. stops crime. Yeah. Here's a crime right here. Lost cat. Someone's been stealing cats in the neighborhood. And you better believe we're taking an account on it. You wanna know what? Here's another crime, too. Benjamin Stevens. Doggy Daddy Pet Care. That's a serious crime if you're a male. You shouldn't be doing jobs like that. How about a real job? Maybe an accountant? Maybe a janitor? This guy's banging animals. This guy is fucking animals, and we're gonna actually have a word with him later today. But first, we find Sprinkles. Because this is a travesty! Sprinkles? Her name is Dish. Look at this! Another one! Different cat! Angie's! This is it! There's a cat burglar in the neighborhood, and they're stealing cats, and we're gonna find them. Guaranteed. We have found Sprinkles. That means that the cat burglar is close, but first, let's return this cat to its family. I'm gonna approach this cat slowly because they can sense fear. It's right there. You got him trapped. Oh, fuck. So much for cat like reflexes, huh? God damn it. Yo, know, this is really starting to make me really sick, honestly. There's another. Henry? 
No? All right, nice talking to you. No one gives a shit. Nobody. This is honestly getting sickening. Let me tell you. We found a third cat missing. His name is Henry. It looks eerily similar to Sprinkles, but I'm not going to say anything about that. But we need to find Henry, we need to find Sprinkles, and we got to find Angie's. Might be a little harder to find too because uh, since the cat is a ginger, they won't have souls. So you can't, you know, go to a local uh, Bora guy and they'll find you out where the cat's soul is. You know? Most cats have eight souls, but not this one. Nine, nine souls. Whatever it is. Today, we do this for Henry. You think he's dead? I don't know, but Sprinkles definitely is. That cat looks dead. Oh my god. I think fucking nine lives expired. Pretty sure we saw it. Sprinkles actually on the side of the road back there. I'm not going to say nothing though. I don't wait, a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Cat droppings. It's a rock, baby. No, it's not. Yeah, I made a noise when you dropped it. Let, right. me, call, let me call it anyways. All right, yeah, call it in. Uh, dispatch to uh, Boone PD. We got a uh, mysterious looking, could be a cat turtle or a rock. Or here on Parker Drive. Parker Drive. Uh, let, let us know if you can get a squad car over here because we're, we're kind of busy today. Definitely cat turtle, though, not a rock. It's probably a rock. Nope. Brandine has found a cat. We're going to investigate and see whether or not it's one of the missing cats in question. Shall we? I think this is, uh, what was that cat's name? Shoe? Something like that. Hey, this all is I know it. is that poster it didn't say dead or alive. I'm locked and loaded. You know, if only all pussy was this friendly. So, uh, this cat burglar guy must be elusive because, um, you know, the trail's been cold. I haven't seen a flyer in at least a couple miles now. Uh, that means probably all these cats are safe and whatnot. So, um, honestly, I think the cat burglar thinks it's dead end. What do you think, Brandy? I'm actually going to agree with you on this one. Yeah, it's a dead end. I mean, these cats are not safe, obviously, but I, we can't devote our whole day to try to find a cat burglar. No. I mean, what's more important, a cat or a human? You be the judge. Yeah, I mean, I'm not a moral guy, so I don't really understand. Peter, Peter would speak differently than we do. That's for sure. So, I actually had this brilliant idea a while ago. I have a lot of them, so I actually said this one out loud today, though. Um, we should just start our own crimes, call them in, and then we respond to them first. And then we'd be like, you got away, but we, you know, we responded to it. Think about it, it's brilliant. There's no crime, so we're gonna have to create crime. If we create our own crimes, then it appears that the town is still unsafe. Yeah. And therefore, more they cops. Brandine's got the picture. Yeah, big picture. Brandine's certainly got the picture. So this is what we're gonna do. Ding dong ditch houses like we used to do in the old days. Yeah. Littering. Littering. Big time littering. That's huge. I hate litter bugs. Um, what else did you got? Uh, I got a bag, big bag of fireworks for tonight. We're gonna set them off. So, yep, Noise disturbance. Needs, he's always good for fireworks. It's that simple. That. So we'll shoot those Force off. Um, what else? Oh, I got a great idea. Steal a car, steal a kid. Top it all off. Cherry on top. Stealing a car is easy. Stealing a kid, not so much. We're gonna no. do it anyways because no. we need crime. But I honestly Brandy, don't think it's gonna work. Brandy, I'm a kid at heart. I can lure a kid away from anything. Okay. <laughs> Oh god, those smell good, Brandy. That's why I smoke. Hey, look at that car right there. What about it? That's definitely some 40 year old midlife crisis stop. Bitch car, you know, trying to impress his wife shit. Let's, let's take this one. What an invention. It's not the Transformers and stuff. Should we leave the bike here? Does that matter? Who's gonna take a tan of bike, dude? It says police on it. Yeah, but the, the car's gonna be gone, the bike's gonna be here. They're gonna know we hit. Whatever. You know what? I'll put the bike down the street. No, just leave it. Alright. We're cops. Brandy knows best. Hit the stand. Brandy, wait, 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 wait. Give me a chance. I, I can haul my dog. Just like, oh. You won't regret this. Brandy's let me haul my The hood? Um, you popped the hood. Did I? Yeah. I didn't hear it. I think you must be hearing stuff. No, it's definitely open. Uh, no, son. Oh, that's must have been open before, though. All right. Christ. You do actually know how to do this? You sco Get out of the car. Oh, Jesus. Sorry, Brandon. Jesus Christ. That's the last time you touched the wheel. Understandable. That's weird how the trunk is, you know, I never Yeah, yeah, well, the keys are in the ignition, so get in. Well, that worked out pretty well. Brandine, you're really a terrible driver. I completely forgot how to drive. Oh, it's not like God. riding a bike. 
Brian Dean, right there, kids. Look at him. Trampoline. Oh, this is perfect. Oh, yeah. We That's got it. him. Oh, man. We got him. So basically, here's the deal. We stole this car. And now, we're going to make this the crime of the century. I'm going to grab a kid. We're going to kidnap him, leave him in the car, leave the windows down with the kid in the car. Well, that's all you. I'm going to stay in the car. Yeah, but I'm going to go grab the kid. Because you want to know why? Kids love me. Look at me. I'm, I'm Uncle Slater. Yeah, uh, if I'm being honest, I really don't think Slater has it in him to grab the kid. I just... I don't think he's really good with kids. Some kids in the trampoline here. I'm going to go try to get one. So we can leave him in the car for like two or three hours. You know? Here we go. Hey, kids. Hi. What's, uh, what's going on today? Nothing? Oh, all right. Uh, you guys, uh, want to see my dog? Man, we don't really like dogs. Doesn't like dogs, all right. Uh, you want some candy? Yeah. Uh, we, don't, we don't really like candy. No, they don't really like candy, all right. Uh, well, what do kids like these days? Uh, well, they like technology. Technology, all right, well, I got a stack of iPads in my car, one for every one of you. Ooh. Yeah. All right, so you, big head, with me, let's go. All right, so uh, what are you into these days? I don't know, depends. You wear diapers? No. Oh, how old are you? Like, four? I'm 11. This kid must be drinking the Boone Springs water. Kid's huge, look at him. You're the biggest four-year-old I've ever seen. Thanks, I guess. Yeah, that's so that's good. Hey, what's going on? Hey, this is my friend. I'm, he's gonna give you the iPads. Okay. Hey, what's that over there? <laughs> Hurry up! Get in! Get in! Hey, I mean, we're stopping our own crimes after we do them, but it's still crime being stopped. Yeah. You know? Which is really the job, stopping crime. It doesn't matter what it started or where it ended, you know? You know, with A plus B equals C, then our crime plus their crime equals no crime. You know what I mean? It does make sense. I don't get it still, but... Just think about it. I've... Yeah, just think about it. <laughs>